got an early morning video I'm up early and uh, I've been requested to get a video of a system flushing without a flush pipe connected to it well I've been asked to do the torrent but since I've got to take the Burlington from down the shed to in here might as well thought I'd set it up and we do the torrent later on there's a few things to say about the system first of all when you do try and flush it it doesn't flush without a flush pipe on it no matter how hard you try it won't flush The only way around it is going to have to overfill the system. And yeah, you can actually see what I didn't mention on the last video was that the person can't without actually build holes in it, so they just throw it to the wall. That's something that could be repairable, and to be honest, I might actually retain the holes. Well, two of the holes anyway. The only problem is I don't make very good sort of overflow protection thing, whatever. Well, if it was running out, the overflow would run out there and leak down the back of the wall, so yeah. Right, here we go. You'll find you have to push the bell down when you lift it up and then it will get going. There we go. Even though it doesn't flush without a flush pipe on its own, it's, it's not something to be concerned about. Because you'll find even when you put a flush pipe on, the diameter isn't so big. And uh, that will actually start the siphon off. So yeah, it's not... So yeah. It's going to bear me with. It's sort of halfway there, though. Yeah, it does make all the difference, but still wasn't very reliable. Or good, but it's a quick video anyway, so yeah. Oh, and this is the size of flush pipe you should always use with cast and bell siphon systems, as they won't flush properly with a 40 millimeter plastic waste pipe or copper. I'm going to do a video on that later on as well.